everybody, Ann here, sitting in front of the chicken yard, having my coffee with all of you. Oh, I woke up at like 2 something a.m. yesterday morning, and um, I don't know why a dog kept barking out there somewhere. But I did get back to sleep for a couple more hours. Anyway, um, it's sunny today. Doesn't look like there's a cloud in the sky. I know it's going to be raining pretty soon. I haven't had water my plants for like... I don't know how long because the rain keeps coming. I need to go down and check the apple trees today, make sure they're plenty watered. Uh, I need to go through and thin some things out and stake some things up. Um, what else? Oh, I wanted to tell you. Okay, so my parents came. I had show you photos of them with the with their tent. They had set up a tent inside their house to kind of practice and because they all wanted to camp out. They had like a four man tent and my son and grandkids had a 10 man tent. And so my parents had a tarp they could put down. We put them over in the trees over there. And um, I put some cardboard down for my son's tent. Papa, what are you doing? Look at this boy. He just wants some love. He just wants some love. Anyhow, so the first night that they were here, it was decent weather during the day, but it got cold at night that first night. I should have inspected what kind of blankets my parents had because it got down into the low 40s and they were freezing. I felt horrible. You know, I could have given them my buddy heater. Um, it just, it was awful. It was really awful. My mom woke up and she was just freezing, shivering. And so they decided, yeah, the whole 10 thing wasn't such a great idea. So they got a hotel, uh, a hotel room nearby for the rest of the trip. Um, my son and grandkids stayed out the other night. Oh, Papa Satabi's just like pawing me. Um, he wants love. <sighs> Those leghorns are so noisy. Anyhow, so they stayed and it, it didn't get down as cold the next night and the next night. Um, but so my son and grandkids got here Friday late. They left Sunday, so they stayed two nights. Um, and they all loved Papa. I mean, what's not to love? Seriously, what? Oh, <laughs> he's such a good boy. I can't wait till Judy gets here so he'll have a playmate. Um, anyhow, I've been moving some stuff around in the tiny house. I'm going to wait till I get things kind of really super organized in there before I show you again. Um, I'm not going to show you every time I move a piece of furniture or whatever. Um, but I've left the baby chickens out in the yard and they are doing pretty gosh darn good. I'm not letting the free uh, the chickens free range. Papa's like up on my lap. Come on, Papa, get down. Um, uh, I'm not letting the ch chickens free range right now because they ended up all the way over in Mr. Lucas' yard, way up by his chicken coop. And you know, I asked him, well, let me know if they're over there and I need to come chase them back. He says, nah, they'll be fine. But no, I don't want them over there. Um, because that's just too far and they'll get it off in the woods and I just don't want that so I need to get that chicken uh, wiring done I don't know if I have enough to really go down as far as it needs to go I started working on it yesterday Papa no you're gonna spill my coffee um, and I was like kind of going over uh, some chicken wire that was up like over there and I ended up tripping. <laughs> I tripped and I fell. Sorry about that. Papa's like knocking stuff over. Anyhow, um, I tripped and fell and I landed on this hand. So this wrist is really hurt. Um, the fingers, <laughs> I cannot really bend the hand very well. Um, I mean, I can hold my phone, but I can't grip very well. So I hurt myself pretty bad. So I won't be doing he any heavy lifting with that finger. The good thing is, is it's not swollen. The wrist isn't swollen. The fingers aren't swollen. So it's just, you know, soft tissue strain or whatever. Um, oh, I did want to show you the sawhorse. See that over there? Here, let's get a closer look. He got up bright and early in the morning and built this sawhorse. He had just a bunch of lumber. He measured it all out, all scrap pieces. He didn't have enough lumber to finish this part, but that's okay because this fits in the back of the bed of my truck. So when I need to use it, I will just pull it over and I have my own sawhorse now. I think that was great. I mean, I didn't even know he knew how to do these things, but he does. So I'm going to find a way to, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I, I, I don't want it to get all rained on. I mean, I think it'll be okay, but I think it'll last 
longer if I get it up off of the ground and maybe cover it with something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But this is great. I have a sawhorse now, so I'll just pull it over in the back of my... Oh! I had to scold Papa because he got out of the gate. He always comes back, but... Yeah, I've got a bungee cord that I can wrap around there if I want to keep him in the yard. Most of the time, he's out running around with me. Anyhow, like I said, I can just put this in the back of my truck, and I have me a perfect sawhorse. Look at how everything is growing. I'm getting more flowers. Look at this, you guys. I got me a little tiny strawberry. Oh, yes, these plants need to be watered, definitely. I'm going to pick this. Oh, it's already starting to go bad. It's going overripe. I'll pick that a little bit later. Everything else is growing really, really well. This is awesome. Look at how big this wild blackberry plant is getting. And it's multiplying. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get any fruit off of this year, but that's okay. I use the leaves for various things. These tomatoes that I transplanted are doing absolutely fantastic. Remember, they were all in this bucket. And what's weird, I think we, I've got different soil in these three buckets because this one is not doing as well. All of these others are doing great. The multi-peppers are growing. I've thinned them out a little bit. The cherry tomatoes are growing. I thinned them out a little bit. And of course, these tomato plants are doing great. Yesterday I came and took some leaves off the bottom. I'm going to do some more pruning today. The eggplant over here is doing okay. I'm wondering if maybe I need to pull this out a little bit more and get them a little bit more sun. That eggplant, mm, not so sure. Uh, yeah, anyhow, I'm trying to avoid my trash bags. I need to get them hauled off to the dump. Jalapeno pepper plants, I need to thin those out more and transplant them. And the banana peppers are doing great. And the beauty berry is doing fantastic. And I'm going to turn this around and give these other sunflowers and these other flowers that are growing a little bit more sun. Look at that oregano. It is taking off in my sage. Remember, I sprinkled some seeds around here. That sage is all coming up. All these herbs are doing great. Flowers are doing great. That's the old rosemary. Not so great. New rosemary doing very good. Flowers are coming up. I'm going to cut these back. I should not have transplanted them when I did because they were already flowering. And so I don't think they're going to flower anymore this year. Look at these. These in the back are cucumbers. I've already got to, oh, I got to go around the other side. Okay, all of these are bush beans. These are cucumbers and I've already got cucumber flowers. So today, later today, I've got a bunch of cucumber flowers. I am going to start training these up so that they will grow up this fence. I think they'll probably do it on their own. But look at this beautiful planter. There's some really good soil in here. And I think it's different soil from these two because remember, I took these two cucumber plants out of that one. Uh, and I don't know, maybe it's the fact that I'm growing bush beans here. But this is going great. This garden bed, not so much. This is taken off. I think that's a cucumber plant. And I think that's a cucumber plant. Those in the back that are actually flowering, those are zucchini. But otherwise, the cayenne peppers, I don't know what I'm going to do. They're just not growing well. I'm not going to use this garden bed again next year. I'm just going to let everything grow that'll grow. You know, maybe try and work it up with some fertilizer. But the borage is starting to come up in a couple places. That's a zucchini plant. Don't have many leaves, but we're getting flowers. And you know what? This garden bed, it could be better. Um, same thing, same thing. I think it's uh, nitrogen deficient. So, because these, look at these tomato plants. They're not hardly doing good at all. I need to trim some of those yellows off. I am getting some beefsteak tomatoes up here, but my guess is that they're not going to do that great. So, yeah, I'll thin those out. And the pole beans are not doing that great. And I think it's because they don't get much sun in this part of the morning. Um, <laughs> I haven't really been tending this very well, but uh, it just looks like nitrogen problems. So, I don't know. I'll work it out. Oh, look. You know what those are? Those are sticks that we roasted marshmallows on over my fire pit. My granddaughter was the marshmallow roaster, pretty much. And then 
her and my mom put the s'mores together for us, but I just didn't have the heart to leave it. I, I'm just going to leave it there forever. I'm just going to leave those sticks there forever. And the little chickens are out in the yard. They kind of clamor wherever I am. They like to go where they can stick their heads through and get some greens and whatnot. Yes, I am giving them grit. Some of the others are over here. Yep. They are getting big, big, big. And they're doing pretty good integrating. Of course, oh, there's the rooster, Tyson. And Rocky is right there laying down. I don't know what the other one's names are going to be. But I got to figure out this chicken yard and whatnot eventually. Because it'll become untenable with all those roosters. But they're doing okay. You know, no vicious attacking. Just a little pecking here and there. I've taken the screen down in the back of the van. So the little birds just go back up into that little coop at night. And they have their own little spot. Everything's going well. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.